Britney Spears comes out with this memoir, The Woman in Me. And I think there are actually a lot of life lessons in this thing. A lot of life lessons for people thinking about putting their child anywhere near the entertainment industry. Um, and frankly, it's a, it's a manual on how not to raise your children. She reveals she lost her virginity when she was 14 years old. She was drinking with her mother starting in the eighth grade. She was having daiquiris with her mother. Her little sister was drinking too, apparently even at a younger age, white Russians, which they all thought tasted like ice cream. Is it any wonder she wound up as screwed up as she is? She was taking Adderall like it was candy to get high later on. She wound up in uh, taking lithium, which is a very serious drug thanks to her conservatorship and so on. The dad constantly telling her she wasn't good enough. He, the love was not unconditional. That even as recently as her big tour out in Vegas, her diet was being monitored. He was always telling her she was fat. She had an abortion at age 19 when she was dating Justin Timberlake, even though she didn't want to. The, it's, a, it's a horror story. It's a string of horror stories, Will. And I look at this and I say, I hope, I hope young girls read it. And I hope young parents read it and they take away from this. I don't want anything to do with that industry. I don't want to be a star. I don't need millions. I can find my self-worth someplace else. Yeah, you know, outside looking in, you see these celebrities and these types of people, and it always looks so glamorous and beautiful and amazing. It's funny, Britney Spears, when I was a little kid, maybe, maybe eight years old, I had this Scooby-Doo lunchbox, and I'd take all my mom's celebrity magazines, and I'd cut out the pictures of Britney Spears and keep them in this <laughs> lunchbox, because I loved Britney Spears. She was my favorite. That's the adorable. music video. Yeah, it was, it was quite cute, you know, uh, until you see the recent pictures of her. And I wouldn't cut out <laughs> any of these and put it in my Scooby-Doo lunchbox. But no. it's like you look at these celebrities and all this out, outside looking in, and it seems so amazing of what their lives are. But behind the scenes, I mean, I lived in Hollywood, California for six years, knowing exactly what is happening in this this type of world and then wanting to get out of it and moving to, to Florida. And the fact that people want to get into this type of lifestyle just shows how broken our culture is. And then you have people who are constantly talking about these kinds of things and talking about the celebrities. Why do we think that we have politicians do the things that they do now? It's because they are celebrities now. They want to be yes. like Britney Spears at the same time. You know, they want to be looked at in the tabloids and have people talk about them and this kind of stuff because people are obsessed with the celebrity music and, and entertainment, this type of, of culture. But it's all vapid and it's leading America down a path of just consumer or nonsense that is useless. It's, it's so useless for the betterment of our, of our human race and for America in general. She writes about how she met Justin Timberlake in the Mickey Mouse Club. And um, you know what? Congress is the new Mickey Mouse Club, the springboard yes. to fame that, that's used by so many people who really just want to see their faces on TV. Sadly, we have, you know, congressional Kardashians who are just there to build a platform for themselves. People like AOC, I mean, at least Britney Spears actually has talent and so does Justin Timberlake, although he's getting mocked mercilessly for this. My team tells me we have to look at this old dance video of Justin Timberlake is being mocked. I don't know why. Do we care? Let's see it. Stop 30. <laughs> I, I'm just going to say, Evita, it, if Doug could dance like that, I would be so happy. I'm not I'm not willing to mock this. <laughs> I, I think we're being too hard on him. But the point, that's enough of Justin Timberlake. Got it. <laughs> the, the point is, um, chasing after fame is a vapid, unfulfilling game. It is. Uh Okay, I don't I don't love the the Justin Timberlake video because it made me it sort of was an endearing video, right? That he's kind of awkward at dancing and yet he's a superstar. But I think everybody should I mean, he really came out as the true villain from her memoir. I mean, this story about how he pressured her into getting an abortion was just super harrowing and awful. Uh and I think that it really was an a really a good real world example of what post-abortion trauma looks like. I think that it's 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 real and that that women actually suffer through it. Uh, and the left constantly is telling us that it doesn't happen, that it's that it's all fake. Uh, and the truth is that the only people that actually look out for women like Britney Spears who are put in those situations are pro-life people who have pregnancy centers and who believe them when they say, I have post-abortion trauma. Uh, and I the whole memoir just made me so, so sad for her and made me just think, uh, 
it makes a hundred percent sense why she is the way she is now because this woman has been through so much trauma throughout her life. It's it's really not that hard to raise good kids. You know, it really isn't. You just have to spend time with them. You have to spend time with them. They do have to feel that they're unconditionally loved. You have to eat dinner with them, ideally seven nights a week, but at least five. Um, and you have to make sure they know you're rooting for them and, and not for them to be skinny or a star or you're trying to mooch off them. And don't, pro tip, don't serve them booze when they're in the eighth grade, all right? I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. And it's part of just sort of this societal rot. We've only gotten more obsessed with celebrity. Why do you think you see Taylor Swift all over the place just because she's in love with a football player or dating a football? It's our obsession with celebrity. I don't put that on her. I put it on our disgusting media that can't get off uh, of the celebrity obsession. <laughs> 